St. Josephine Temple. Section T. Turn some bags in order. Aren't you slipping something past me? Oh, I know you need to clear an art treasure. But you might give a poor collector one look at the man. Of course. So long as you're so curious. Are you Miss Temple? Yes. We've been sent here to escort you to your hotel. By... by Dr. Kirk? At his request. Thanks. Makes me feel quite important. Hmm. Somebody's gonna pay a lot of money for this. Real money, I hope. Don't worry. We'll get our bit just the same. On the income tax. I'm from Rowan and Company. If you would allow us to represent you, we could negotiate a sale on the Chinese but, mandarin. Uh, I've, I've made arrangements to sell it to Dr. Kirk. Don't accept his offer. It's not enough. For the poor but honest temples, I assure you, it's a fortune. But we could get you much more. I'll keep your car. If the sale should pass, you are notified. Thank you. I hope we'll hear from you. I'm from the record. How about a picture? Can we have a picture, Miss Temple? Well, it's very flattering, but I'm not important enough to... Thanks, Miss Temple. Oh, pardon me. Is that Mary Townsend? No, sir, that's Miss Temple. Miss Townsend left the ship at Panama. Well, that sort of leaves me holding the bag. Uh, I mean the bouquet. Hey, Porter. Want these for your girl? So sorry, my aim isn't so good as it used to be. Quite all right. Maybe with a little practice. Hey, you, what are you trying to pull? Hello, Mr. Queen. Hello. Did your father get you on the reception committee? Somebody should take the blame. Sit right there, Mr. Queen. Do you mind? I've never been photographed officially. What? They usually want a tall, dark fellow. Oh. Here. Thanks a lot, Mr. Queen. Thank you. All right. The boy of wonder who wrote those detective stories? Yes, have you read them? I read one. How interesting. Not very. It, it... Thank you, boys. I'll carry on. You always do. Would you rather have me opposite or next to you at dinner? I won't need what's in at dinner. I could get up for breakfast if I had a little encouragement. That's a lot to ask of the name. Then it's a date? Oh, Miss Temple, Dr. Kirk made a reservation for you. Oh, thanks. Boy, show Miss Temple to 1211. Goodbye and, and thank you. Please. Eleven. Please bring Dr. Kirk's penthouse until Miss Temple has arrived. I'll take it, Mason. Very good, Miss Irene. Somebody must have talked. All this publicity may spoil the deal. I hope it does. You shouldn't. This will mean a lot to you and Irene. Yes, a lot of grief. The Chinese Mandarin is worth twice what I'm paying for it. Well, Miss Temple's here. You better tell her that. Maybe she'll take more. Mason. Yes, sir? Go to Miss Temple's suite. Ask her to come here. Yes, sir. Ask her to leave us enough money to buy a meal in our old age. Why can't I convince you that this is a better investment than stocks and bonds? Someday you'll thank me. We'll thank you right now if you'll give us a decent allowance. I'm protecting you from your own extravagance. And from fortune hunters. Could he possibly mean me? Oh, don't mind him, darling. We're glad to see you. Oh, you can't insult an insurance man. Or get rid of him either. Certainly not when I'm working on my best prospects. You haven't got anything better to do at the moment. Let's get married, huh? Donald. You want to take a chance? Do I? Planning to live on Irene's money, I presume. Wrong again. I'm about to close a deal that will net me $10,000. Donald, where could you get that much money? He hasn't got 10000 yet. I'll get it. All I have to do is say the word. I suppose you'll try to prevent Irene marrying him now. I will prevent it. 
As long as I'm her guardian, she'll do as I say. Then I'll run away. You won't have to. I'm going to court and demand that Uncle Alec's guardianship be set aside. That's ridiculous. As long as I can prove that I'm investing your estate legitimately, and I can, the courts will not interfere with trusteeship. We'll see about that. I'll find a way. I've tried, Mason. They don't want to understand me. I can't stop away. Miss Temple's compliments, sir. She a bit of tidying up and will be with you presently. What does she want to dress up for? Oh, all right. Uh, get me that album from the safe. Very good, sir. Our guests are complaining they can't see you clearly. Will you please run up your shades? Your voice is very familiar, but I can't place your manner. Are you that young man? Uh-huh. How about that dinner? Are you trying to break our breakfast date? No, just hurrying it up. Why don't you say yes? We'll be our next number. Hey, there's a man in your room. It's only the radio. I'll turn it off. Just ready to drown myself. Then I'll hang up so you can get on with it. Oh, on second thought, I can't. I'm my father's only son. How does he feel about that? I'll let him speak for himself. Meet the governor. Miss Temple, Inspector Queen. Pleased to meet you, Miss Temple. How do you do, Inspector? I've heard a lot about you. Lies, my dear lady, all lies. She has a nice voice. Say, what am I getting, an audition? <laughs> no. Don't get nervous. This is only an invitation to breakfast. I can't go. I've lost my gloves. I'll find them for you. That should keep you busy until morning. Goodbye. Oh, Tadaloo. Telephone, Mr. Mellish. Yes? Yes, this is the manager. <clears throat> Impossible. Nobody commits robbery in my hotel. They do? I'll be right up. Uh, get the police and uh, send them up to 1211. I told you I wouldn't be long. It's been worth waiting for. Like it? Mm-hmm. Miss Temple, where will I find Dr. Kirk? In his stamp room. You may go through the library. Thank you. Oh, 
Oh, this is terrible, Miss Kirk. Now, who'd steal that stand? What stand? That Miss Mandarin, a Chinese uh, temple. A Chinese Mandarin? Oh, and in my hotel, we've always been so particular. Never a breath of scandal. I must tell Dr. Kirk. So that's why the young lady was all in a dither. I beg your pardon. I'm Inspector Queen. Where's Dr. Kirk? In his stamp room, I think. I'd rather you didn't leave just yet. Well, I'm Martha Kirk. Well, that's just fine, but everyone stays here until I'm through. Oh, really? What's happened? Oh, more trouble about that silly stamp. It's been stolen. I hope they never find it. Where are you going? Well, I've got to find Fifi. I must be going. Just a minute. Who are you? Well, I'm not a... I didn't ask you who you're not. Who are you? I'm a suspect. I, no, no, no. I, I'm not, not a suspect. I'm, I'm the manager of the hotel, Mr. Uh, uh, Mellish. Oh, dear. Donald, are you absolutely sure of getting that $10,000? It's a cinch, unless the chap drops dead. We're uh, waiting for you. Yeah, you too. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on. It's all this about the Chinese Mandarin being stolen. Yes, yes, we must find it. It's the most valuable stamp in the world. Such things don't happen in my hotel. I make rules. Think what it means to poor Miss Temple. Well, she was counting on my 50,000. 50,000? Not a cent. Not if she sues me for 100,000. Perhaps she will. Maybe she changed her mind about letting my uncle have it. It's such a bargain. Where is she? Where is Miss Temple? I thought she was with you. I told her to go through the library. I haven't seen her. Who locked this door? It's locked from the other side. Open the door. She can't hear you. This room is soundproof. Is there another door? Yes, from the hall. Open it, Irene, and bring the girl in. Let's get to the bottom of this. Hey, yes, let. <coughs> Inspector Queen, come at once. What's the matter? What's he doing? Wouldn't say he's posing for a picture. Oh, but then what is it? I calls it murder. <gasps> Impossible! Don't leave the apartment, any of you. Get the homicide squad. Yes, sir. What's wrong? Who is it? That's what I was about to ask you. How did he get in here? Don't you know? I haven't left the stamp room since lunchtime. I haven't seen anyone except my nieces. And that young man. Friend of yours? I never saw him before. Killer must have used the hall door to get away. I suppose so. Why is his coat on backwards? That's what I want to find out. Wait a minute. The Mandarin on the stamp. His clothes were on backwards. That's why the issue was suppressed. The stamp's at the bottom of this. Where's that girl, anyway? Maybe she went back to her room. Send for the boys and the policewoman. You better put him to bed. <laughs> Not in my hotel. I'll have to ask you to leave, Doctor. Yes. Lock the door and don't let anyone in here till the boys show up. Yes, sir. There's something mysterious going on here. That man is dead. Don't jump at conclusions. <gasps> I can't keep catching you. I got work to do. It's about time you showed up. How did you get in here? I came in with the other essentials. What? The baggage. I never call a trunk a trunk. Once I called a grip a bag, but I never miss calling a date a date. How much would you take to go away? And forget you? I used to get a dime from my sister to go away, but I charge more for forgetting, because it's harder to do. Here, what do I get for these? What do you want? I'll settle for a dinner. All right. If you'll take me to Rowan and Company first. It's a deal. Hmm. Let me
makes a swell background for an orchid. I, uh, I never wear them except for breakfast. I'll remember that. I'll be with you in a minute. Come in. Hi, Dad. You always chase every girl I like. What are you doing here? Waiting for Miss Temple. Where is she? No fair cutting in. I saw her first. I haven't got any time for your nonsense now. That goes next door. Father, is that nice? What? Peeking into a lady's bathroom. How do you know? You're not blushing. And I'm not kidding. Then what's all the shooting for? That's what I'm going to find out. There's been a murder. Ouch. What? I came over here to look for a stamp and find a 14 carat homicide. Don't ask me to help. I don't want to make history. I just want to make love. I'm not asking. This is a man-sized job. A policeman. Ah, then you don't need brains. Ah, uh, go take a bath. Pop, you got something there. You can come out now. He's gone. Was he busy looking for a stolen stamp, a murder, and you? Why is he looking for me? I had my stamp, and I don't know anything about a murder. Stop me if I'm wrong, but weren't you just hiding from my father? I never met him. Well, he's just crazy to meet you. Stop trying to be funny. This is no joking matter to me. Is it that important? If you'd faced poverty all your life and suddenly found you had a fortune in your head, you'd think it important, wouldn't you? My mother told me, quote, money isn't everything, unquote. To my mother and dad, it means coming back to the state, home, peace and security for the rest of their lives. And it all depends on one little stamp. Yes, and I'm going to sell it. Does your invitation still hold me? Sure. Then get me out of here quickly. I must go to Rowan and Company. I'll bet you could use a little help. Would you? Lady who have big blue eyes and soft brown hair. In other words, you're my client. That's my call to arms. I'll run up to Kirk's, look around, and bingo, solve the mystery. It's easy as that? Easier for you. Yes? Open in the name of the law. This is no time for games, it's a murder case. Pop, I know. Somebody told me. Goodness, Pop, how did that happen? Don't call me Pop. And don't come barging in here getting under people's feet. This story's for the police records, not a publisher. All right, boys, take the body down. He's not as big a man as his father. But your son did inherit his brains, and I do make money. Have it your way. How'd he get in here? You tell me. Nobody else will. The two spears. They're to hold the dead body erect. Quite an idea. Yes, but what for? Well, well, we won't go into that. You know the words you don't know? In one word, yes. <laughs> hmm, the coat on backwards. Say, he couldn't have done that himself. Did you ever try to put a coat on backwards and button it? That backwards business means something. Now it comes out. The killer was trying to give the impression of great strength. Joey handles a heavy body, easily undressing it, then dressing it backwards. A woman might have done that, thinking we wouldn't believe she had strength enough to do it. Oh, no, no. Oh, yes, yes. That's why I'm going to chat with you on Miss Temple. Just wasting your time. Yeah, it's so simple, it is a waste of time. Fella trails the girl here, snatches the stamp, and she bumps him off to get it back again. Too easy, Dad. This is a hard one. Oh, you want to make a mystery of it. You can't eat that. Might be evidence. Quite so. Mm, not a fingerprint. Smooth job. Must have worn gloves. It's the craziest case I ever saw. 
Oh, anything more, Inspector? No, I'll let you know if anything turns up. All right. Got it solved? Oh, uh, a couple of details missing, but take a look at that bowl. What about it? Has it been oiled recently? Oh, I'll take that. Oh, I thought my girl would like it. When I get her up here, we'll see. Boys are here. Bring them in. You always send them orchids, don't you, son? The first time you guess right, I'll have Winchell send an orchid to you for the best news item of the week. Say, did anybody hear the shot? Not a soul. You questioned them all. Yes, and drew a blank. Nobody knows nothing. Such grammar. Where was Dr. Kirk? He claims he was in the stamp room. And he didn't hear it? That's right. The room's soundproof. Sounds phony. Let's check it. Guffey. How are your lungs? All right. Uh, how are yours? No, we want you to yell. Oh, gee, Chief. I'm kind of bashful when it comes to showing off. Well, you just pretend you're asking me for that promotion and you'll feel natural. Oh, I think you'll do. Over here. We're going in that room, and when I close that door, I want you to yell your head off. Make all the noise you can. Begin. Leave me alone. I'm working. I don't think he's even trying. When are you going to begin? Begin? I yelled my head off. What do you think? I am a siren? Oh, I hope you're satisfied Dr. Kirk couldn't have heard the shot. Oh, uh, have you boys met Guffy? Uh... Any more bright suggestions? Would you like to know where Miss Temple is? Yeah. You tell me where she is, and I'll tell you where she's going. I'll bet you 50 Joe Temple had nothing to do with this murder. Take it. And 50 more, I spot who done it. Who did it? I'll take that, too. Now, where is she? I see a bedroom. Her bedroom. She's sitting on the edge of a chair. I see her, too. She's talking to a handsome stranger. And he's telling her she's about to meet a dear old inspector. Guffey! Yeah. Get that dame. Miss Temple, a man has been murdered. You were in this room. I wasn't. Is this yours? Why? I object. Overruled. When you came in here, you were wearing this flower. I didn't come in here. She did, too. I saw her. So did I. And she was wearing that flower. You better tell the truth. All right, I did come in here. And that man was here, wasn't he? He was. All right, go on. He had my stamp. And you killed him to get it back. I didn't kill him. He was dead. He had the envelope in his hand. Then what did you do? I don't remember. I was so shocked. I just wanted to get away. But you weren't too shocked to take your stamp. You did get it, didn't you? Let me have it. May I see it, please? Just a minute. I've got my case and your hundred right in my hand. I wouldn't be too sure about that, Inspector. <laughs> oh. No Stampy, no Casey. They've stolen it! Mr. Trent, you knew the murdered man. You owed him money. Who says so? This says so. All right. I did know him. His name is Craig. I, uh, I lost a little money to him at a gambling house. And he followed you here to get I don't know why he came here. I, I told him I'd have the money in a day or two. You're stalling, Trent. You and Craig planned to steal the stamp and sell it. Then you decided you could use all the money. I don't know what you're talking about. I do. You killed Craig. Oh, that's absurd. I... He was dead when I first saw him. Come in here. Take these men in the next room and search them. 
And you search these women thoroughly. I want that stamp and I want the killer's gun. You can keep the small change in the wristwatches. Oh, doctor. Too bad about your accident. Rheumatism, my boy. Well, that's better than a broken leg. <laughs> I've been in torture for the last six weeks. Oh. Thank you. Congratulations, you have two suspects. Now all you need is one murderer. All in good time, my boy. Well, this is as good a time as any. There was nothing on them, Inspector. I even went through their hair with a fine comb. Well, use the same thing on every room in this house. That's all for you. Go. Mason is bringing cocktails. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes, but where? Oh. Cheer up. Recovery is just around the corner. What corner? I don't know. I'll look. Aren't you having a cocktail, Miss Kirk? No, I, I've been too busy. I had to get these letters out for Dr. Kirk. Again, I thought I had it. Had what? Hey, Dad. On something? Well, at least big eyes run in the Queen family. Someone's moved that picture since I was here before. What's wrong, Miss Kirk? Nothing. Not a thing. You seem startled. Well, I'm, I'm not really. Hmm. Something's been stuck on this backing. And recently, too. I wonder if someone parked the stamp there so it wouldn't be found while the rest were being searched. Miss Kirk. Miss Kirk, do you know anything about that picture? No. No, I don't. Did you know a stamp had been hidden behind it? No, I didn't. Well, why won't you believe me? I haven't stolen anything, and I... I haven't killed anyone. Please leave me alone. I'm sorry, but I have to question everyone. This stamp is a counterfeit. Impossible. Hmm. Every stamp in my collection has been expertized. I don't think these two are genuine either. Are you an authority on stamps, Miss Temple? Well, I... I am. I read a book once. Interesting. Very. It was all about the counterfeiting of rare stamps. How does it work? Like this. If you have a thousand dollar stamp, the real you can only get a thousand for it. But if you own ten counterfeits, you can make ten thousand dollars. A thousand for each one. If there are any counterfeits in my collection, a clever thief has been at work. Headquarters call and chief. I switched them in here. Hello. Yes? Fine. Send two men to search his place. Got a line on Craig. He'd had time for forgery and he's living in a place in West 47. Oh, 42nd, huh? 47. Oh, 37. 47! There's no such number as 3747. I didn't say 3747. I said 180 West 47. Thanks. Why don't you stop wasting my time? Why don't you stick to books? Why do you annoy men at work? Yeah, why don't you stop interfering with the law? Why don't you tend to your own business? And why don't you get out of here? I intend to. Now, this cinches it. Young Trent's been working with Craig, the counterfeit rack. You still think you know who done it? Did it? You... Yes. Oh, it's all right, Martha. You haven't anything to worry about. Oh, but you have. Why did you get mixed up with Craig? Oh, there's nothing to that. This is just murder. Oh, Martha, you don't know what you're saying. Pardon me. Does anybody here know how many tangerines there were in that bowl in the library? Tangerines? Why, uh, three. And I ate one. Thanks. Here's a picture of the Chinese Mandarin. I wish I'd never sent for it. So this is what... If you finish censoring those, I'd appreciate having them mailed. They're quite important. Oh, Guffy! Yes, sir. Mail these, please. Yes, sir. Why are the Mandarin's clothes on backward? It was an engraving mistake. The issue was called in, and this is the only one in existence. Guffy, is that nice? Well, I, 
I'm not overlooking any bets, Mr. Queen. I'd give my right eye to get my hands on that Chinese stamp. Wouldn't we all? Say, you're not running out on me, are you? I have something very important to do. Of course you have. You're taking me to dinner. No, you have to stay here. But I don't want to stay here with these people. Oh, but they're awfully good company. Now, take the inspector. If you don't mind, I'll take you. Is this a proposal? No, an alternative. Oh. Hey, Jones, come up here. Come in, sir. The inspector wants to speak to you. It's all right. I'll see that no one leaves. Right, Mr. Queen. Oh, uh, let me have your flashlight, will you? Thank you. Ah, one day in New York and you make headlines. Why make it hard for yourself? Shh, don't make any noise. There might be someone in here. We mustn't make any noise. What are you doing? Trying to be quiet. Well, don't work so hard at it. Oh, cozy little hideout. Ah. Somebody's been in our little house. Somebody's interested in our Mr. Craig, too. Who? I'm the one who asked the question. There's nothing in there. Oh, yes, there is. An ice box. I found something. A clue? A bottle of milk. Oh, don't ruin your dinner. I'm just wetting my appetite. Something fell on me. I'm numb. Drink this. I said, no, I'm not dumb. What's that? I'll let you know when I find out. Oh, look. This is what the fellow who hit me was looking for. What fellow? I wish I knew. Want a couple of souvenirs? Those dirty things? What are they good for? They're dyes to counterfeit stamps. Why, it's the dye of one of those counterfeit stamps in Dr. Kirk's collection. A Rowan and Company stamp catalog. So what? What a grand setup for the sale of counterfeit stamps that outfit would be. You don't think a reputable firm like that would be mixed up in counterfeiting, do you? You never can tell. Rowan and Company. Howard Bronson, manager. Do you know this chap, Bronson? He came to the pier and wanted to buy the stamp. I wish to heaven I'd sold it to him. Had another brainstorm? Police headquarters. My brain's been storming ever since I met you. Captain O'Donnell, please. Hello, Captain. This is Ellery Queen. Yeah, fine, thanks. I'm working with the inspector on the Craig case. Uh-huh. He wants to talk to Howard Bronson of Rowan and Company. Yeah, that's right. At the Kirk Penn house. See that he gets over there right away, will you? Thanks. What's the idea? Shh, don't make any noise. You'll scare it away. We'll just take this along. My dad can use this footstool. Pick him up. Oh, hello, boys. Glad to see you. Ain't that nice. Keep him up. Well, you know me. I'm Ellery Queen, Inspector Queen's little boy. Oh, and you were bringing that home to Papa. Search him, Wood. Oh, this is silly. You took the words right out of my mouth. Is this the thanks I get for putting valuable evidence in your hands? And a rope around your neck. Come on, get going. But I'm a detective. Well, try and detect yourself out of this one. Look, you tell him I'm a detective. I should be arrested for perjury. Come on. Oh, this is a beautiful night. You've been such a help. And now I can ever thank you for all you've done for me. Oh, tut-tut, lady. I'm not worthy of such praise. 
Your arrest is entirely due to this splendid fellow. Oh, shut up. Now, now, I don't want to have any trouble with you. What jail are we going to? Have you any particular jail in mind? What kind of a jail would you like? Well, what jails have you got? Well, we got something nice in the city, Bastille, and we're showing a very smart line of county who's cows. Now, let me see. This time of the year, I sort of lean toward the city prison. The county detention camp has its advantages. Ah, but for sheer beauty, give me Sing Sing in the spring. Could you give him Sing Sing? I'll do my best. Isn't he not? Awfully. been handcuffed to. And you're the nicest boy that's ever had me your best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure to arrest you. You bribed you to have $10,000, didn't you? Why? Mentioned it, yes, it was a commission on an insurance policy. I've explained that. But you haven't explained where you were during the time when Craig was killed. Ah, he I... was with me. Well, where were you? Dressing. And he was with you? Oh, you have me so rattled, I don't know what I'm saying. You're not being fair. Miss Temple caused all the trouble, and you've let her go. Well, I didn't let her go. That idiot son of hey, mine. Hey, me, Dad. Hey, you. Where have you been? Some of your dumb detectives took me for a ride. And another thing, by what right do you take people out of this house when I'm conducting an investigation? Sorry, Pop, Inspector, but I had to ask that person a very important question, alone. Frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if I could get an admission from her. Well, I would. All I could get from her is a denial. But, Pop, you don't ask the right question. Well, that's why I get all the wrong answers. I was just over to Craig's place. Alone? That was dangerous. Did you get anything? Yeah, a sock in the head and a great idea. Good. What was the idea? Has the medical examiner made out a report on Craig? Yes, and there was no tanger in any stomach. Then the killer took it. Well, what's that got to do with the murder? I don't know yet. Come in. Here's Mr. Bronson, Inspector. Bronson? How do you do, Mr. Bronson? What's the meaning of this, getting me out of bed and dragging me over here at this time of night? Sorry to disturb your beauty sleep, but we need an expert opinion on some stamps. If you don't mind, this way. Good evening, Dr. Kirk. Hello, Bronson. Why are you here? I'm sure I don't know. I believe you two have met. Ah, my error. Mr. Bronson. Would you say that this is genuine, Mr. Bronson? Maybe you could use this. Why, this might be... It is a counterfeit. And so are these. Very well done. They might even deceive experts. You sold me those stamps, Bronson? I sold you the originals. Rowan and company guarantee every stamp they handle, but not after they leave our hands. I'm beginning to understand. A clever thief who had access to this room. Someone who wanted money. And to discredit me with my wards. Must we stay here all night listening to this nonsense? I'm getting bored, too. Come on, Dad. How's it going, Chief? No dice. Well, somebody must have did it. I've done it. What were you angling for? I'm not angling yet. Just stocking the stream of fish. Bronson is the chap who beamed me in Craig's room. How do you know? I don't know, but that magnifying glass gave me a darn good hunch. Bronson is tied into this counterfeit ring, and there's a third party. If you have a lead, come across. I'd like to look around Martha's room. She knows something about something. You can't go in there. Turn and respectable? You peeked into Miss Temple's bathroom. What? I can't see Martha in the picture. Everybody's in it. Oh, look. What is it? Just what I've been looking for. As an amateur, I always think that's lying down. Now, from here, I wonder where little Martha would hide a postage stamp. Oh, quit stalling. You haven't any angle in here. Mm. 
lie down, Martha. You're shaking like a leaf. I can't help it. Oh, why did this have to happen? I'll open the window. No, no, no. I'm frightened. Well, there's nothing to be frightened about. The police are everywhere. Rain, you do love him, don't you? You want to help him? Donald? Why, of course. Didn't I say I was with him when I wasn't? That's right. We've got to help him. Listen. I stole three of Uncle Alec's stamps. They were supposed to be worth $2,000. You stole them? For you and Donald, to help you, not for myself. Then I found they were worthless, counterfeit. Someone else had the same idea, someone who needed money. Well, don't you see? It must have been Donald. No, it isn't true. Craig made those counterfeits. Then he and Donald quarreled about money. And this afternoon... He didn't kill anybody. You don't know what you're saying. You're insane. Am I? Am I? That isn't all I know. I won't listen to another word. I won't. We'll take these if you don't mind. We heard everything, Miss Kirk. Stamp racket right under our noses, and Donald... Donald wasn't to blame. He was after the Chinese Mandarin. No, why should he want it? It was the only one of its kind in the world. He couldn't sell it. But he could sell the counterfeits Craig was going to make for him. He stood to clean up half a million with them. Well, then why should he kill him? He needed him. Yes, you're right. But Donald wanted money. Sure. That's why Craig was more valuable to him alive than dead. Why should he kill him? He didn't. Now, if you'll help us, maybe we can help you. I told you everything I know. All right, then we'll take Donald downtown and make him talk. No. No, don't. I'll talk. The Chinese Mandarin. I saw it put behind the stamp frame in the stamp room. Who put it there? It was my... No, it sounded like a shot. What's happened now? Anything wrong, Chief? Plenty. Round up everybody and hold them here. She knew too much. Where'd that shot come from? I'll tell you in a minute. This door was open about two feet. It must have come from the library. Burnt powder. The shot was fired from in here, all right. Where'd you get this? I found it. Where, in your hand? No, I was out on the terrace. Someone threw it from in here. Look, I'm doing my best to protect you, but if you don't stop getting into trouble... I haven't done anything. You don't have to. Trouble just sneaks up and finds you. Now get in there and go around the living room, and I'll act as if I didn't know anything. That'll be easy. Where's that girl? I haven't seen her all evening. This guy sneaked upon me at the foot of the stairs and tried to make a getaway. Get him in there and keep him there. The rest of you, too, please. Where's Martha? I'll tell you in a minute. Is this going on all night? Whatever's happened, I bet this guy's at the bottom of it. Is anything wrong? Haven't I told you I asked the questions? Well, now you have two murders and a half dozen suspects. What are you going to do? I'm going to run them all in as soon as I find the killer's gun. Where'd you find this? Found it in the library near the terrace window. What a detective, spoiling the fingerprints. Arthur Kirk's killer was too smart to leave fingerprints. Yeah. Police headquarters. Listen, Dad, you can't run in all that gang. Why, well, you'd have to build a new wing on the jail. I can't, huh? Well, at least I've got something, and you've got exactly nothing. So I'll run things my way from now on. Hello. Go ahead. Put the skids under yourself. Break right into the comic strips. Inspector Queen arrests all the wrong people. Well, I've got to do something. Then stand by and watch me spring into action. Well, action's something I could use. I'll give you one more chance if you've got anything. I have a question. Did you see what Martha did? Yes, she got shot. No, no, I mean the way she fell. She fell dead. What the thunder are you driving at? But the way she fell. I feel something coming. Closing that door. That's it. I've got it. Lend me Guffy. I want to experiment. Now, you can't shoot Guffy. I don't intend to. Martha's murder told me all I need to know. Martha? Certainly. 
I'm going to show you how Craig's killer got out of that room. I don't like this. Oh, Dad, play ball with me and I'll win you a pennant. But if you're wrong, son. No. I'll eat this. Well, I'd hate to lose it that way. Where is Martha? Your sister's dead. Someone in this room fired the shot that killed her. Guffy. Yes? Off with the coat. Now, put these down your trouser legs. You're making me look silly. I'm the one who looks silly if it doesn't work. Worked on Craig, why not on Guffy? Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness an interesting experiment. I'm going to show you how the killer of Craig and of Martha Kirk got out of this room. It's a good trick. We've had too many tricks already. I don't like this. Craig didn't either. Now, I'm the murderer. I just shot Craig and took the Chinese Mandarin from him. Behold the body. I'm no body. I dress him backwards like the Mandarin in the stamp. Why? Because you're crazy. But the killer wasn't crazy. The dressing of the dead Craig like the Mandarin in the stamp would make headlines the world over. Spectacular advertising to acquaint the buyers with the fact that the stamp was stolen for one purpose, to sell it. But no one would want to buy a stolen stamp. You're wrong, Miss Temple. There are many unscrupulous collectors that would ask no questions to get their hands on the Chinese Mandarin. So by means of a fantastic murder, the stolen wares are advertised. Now the counterfeiters go to work. There are three in this ring. One was a clever engraver. One was a salesman. And the third? Who knows? Craig became greedy. Here was the biggest haul of their careers, the famous Mandarin. He steals it and refuses to work with the others. They can't turn him in. He was right, but he was also very wrong. Craig, the engraver, is dead. But why the stiff pants, the spears? The murderer used the spears to make the limp body rigid. Why? So he'll stand up. Correct. Go to the head of the class. Now I stand the body against the door thusly. Oh. I notice I have blood on my hands, blood from the body. Would you uh, just as leave refer to me as Exhibit A? I think fast. I must wash my hands, but there's no water here. And no water where I'm going. Tangerines contain water. I take one. Now I establish my carefully planned alibi. This boat, by the way, is well oiled. Watch it closely. Safe behind that locked door, I, the killer, wash my hands with the juice of this tangerine, and I eat the peeling. Horrible. But necessary. Then I hide the stamp behind the picture. Now the police have something to worry about. Get me out of this straitjacket. Very interesting, Mr. Queen. But how could the killer escape by that room? You forget. I was in there. That's right, you were. Who did I say the killer was? My Dr. Kirk. Right. Don't you get it, Doctor? You killed Craig. <laughs> stop, stop clowning. Now, what are you going to do with a man like that? Here I work out a perfectly beautiful solution, and he won't admit he's guilty. I'd like to oblige you, but... Come on, Doc, be a sport. He's worked so hard. You're joking. I'm a sick man. I couldn't... Now, you're joking. You develop rheumatism very conveniently. Would give you the appearance of being weak, should we say pale and interesting. All of this took place immediately on receipt of a letter from Miss Temple saying she was bringing the Chinese Mandarin to you. Just doesn't make sense. That, my dear doctor, is exactly what you found out. You set a death trap for Miss Temple and Craig walked into it. You've been investing your ward's money in rare stamps, stamps that cost plenty, but the money went into your own pocket and you gave Irene and Martha counterfeits made for you by Craig. And Bronson helped you too dispose of other counterfeits. But I didn't kill Craig. I didn't know anything about it. He did it. Put him up. You too, officer. Get over there. Now, one move from any of you, and the inspector gets it. Your theories are pretty good, Mr. Queen. But you haven't got me yet. Dr. Kirk! Dr. Kirk, all the most exciting thing has happened. Look what the postman gave me! 
I'm going to use it to buy my way into the firm of Ellery Queen and Father. What do you say? <laughs> a pair of queens is hard to beat. Three queens are better. What do you say? I? I pass. Uh, folks, you must stop wrestling in the halls. <laughs> 